magic. Hello everyone, this is 22 Tiger Dude. I'm gonna give you my quick little review on Frozen Fever. So Frozen Fever is of course based off of the Disney movie Frozen. And in this short, Elsa tries to throw on uh, the best birthday ever, but unfortunately, Elsa has a bad case of the cold. So if you guys have seen my review for Frozen, you know that year the movie came out, I was underwhelmed, I was disappointed, disappointed with Frozen. It, it is by no means a bad Disney movie. I just thought overall it was a underwhelming okay animated movie. So in my opinion it is overrated. But awesome for those that love Frozen. I'm happy for those that do love it. But with that being said, my thoughts on Frozen Fever is that it's just cute animation, just like with the movie Frozen. It looks beautiful. It's very colorful. I thought Elsa and Anna had very good chemistry. They had a very wonderful sisterly bond going for them in the short. Olaf, although not enough screen time, I thought he was enjoyable and funny for whatever he had because Olaf was actually one of my favorite characters from Frozen. Whenever Elsa would sneeze, she would sneeze out these baby snowmen and I thought those baby snowmen were just absolutely adorable. But onto my negative side with the short, I didn't like how 80% of the short is wasting its running time just singing one musical number. And as for the musical number itself, don't get me wrong, I thought the musical number was well done. I just didn't like that most of the short was filling up its running time with one musical number. There really isn't much going for the storyline. The storyline overall, it's okay. It's nothing really too special. Like I said, Olaf, the reindeer, Kristoff, they were all underused. Kristoff wasn't particularly a character I cared that much for Frozen, but Olaf and the reindeer, I love those characters and I wish I could have seen more of them. And the pacing itself was rather rushed. But I did really love seeing Elsa here because the one I cared about the most in Frozen was Elsa. She was a character I got the most behind out of that movie. So overall, I'm gonna give the short film Frozen Fever a B-. minus. And now let's get to my review for Cinderella! Cinderella is a Disney live action film that's based off of the 1950 animated film Cinderella. It has been 65 years since the animated film came out. Holy crap. It is directed by Kenneth Branagh. It stars Lily James and Kate Blanchett. The story of Cinderella, if you don't know what it is, it's about when Cinderella loses her mother when she was very young, and then later on loses her father when she's older. So now she's under the roof of her evil stepmother and her evil stepsisters. Cinderella is nothing but a servant girl to them. They treat her horribly. But it wasn't until one magical night where Cinderella goes into the ball, meets her Prince Charming, and that's really all you need to know for Cinderella because that is the story. But going into Cinderella, I didn't have much expectations going into this movie. Not that it looked bad, but every time I sat through the trailer, I just went, uh, is, is this really necessary, Disney? Did you really have to just make the same movie but in live action? And plus, because 2015 marks the 65th anniversary of the 1950 film, I figured maybe this could be a good way to actually celebrate the 65th anniversary of the 1950 animated film. Wow! I was really surprised by this movie. Billy James is wonderful as Cinderella. She truly embodies Cinderella. I saw Cinderella on the screen. And Lily James, she just had the charm of Cinderella. It was just a fantastic performance that she gave for the character. Of course, you have Kate Blanchett as the evil stepmother. And she's also just 
brilliant. She made me hate her character and she does a damn good job with this. Just the scenes where the evil stepmother is being mean to Cinderella or when Cinderella is sad, you know, it's very believable. And you could just feel sorry for Cinderella. You care about her character, you get behind her character. And yes, even if you may know where the story is going to go, you want her to have a happily ever after. That's one of the things that this movie definitely succeeded at. The actor who plays the Prince Charming, who I think is from that show Game of Thrones, he does a really good job as the prince. And then you also had Hayley Atwell, who played Cinderella's mother in the beginning of this movie. It's a small role, but Hayley Atwell does a really good job for what she had with the role. And just basically everyone else in this movie does a very splendid job. Kenneth Branagh's direction is great. He does a really good job of keeping the overall world of Cinderella highly immersive. It feels like I'm actually transported in this magical world and Kenneth Branagh just captures that so well. Well, he just overall did a convincing job of bringing me in this magical world, making me care for Cinderella, making me care for the storyline, and just making me smile because this movie, as it should have, has wonderful charms. You just can't help but smile at the charms and the overall heart of Cinderella. Cinematography, wow, looks tremendous. The visuals look absolutely astonishing. The mouses, I thought they looked really good. You could tell they were CGI mouses for sure, but they looked very well. Another thing I have to compliment is the costume design. The costumes look absolutely gorgeous. The colors, the designs, the material on each of the costumes costumes for the characters. They look terrific. Production design is great. The music in this movie sounds gorgeous. It flows with the movie well. And the editing in this movie is very sharp. I was actually quite impressed on how well edited Cinderella was. Yes, the thing about Cinderella is that it does take the same story we know from the 1950 animated film, but it captures that story in live action form in the most respectable way. I was worried that this film was gonna be like the exact same as the animated film. That's why I wasn't really looking forward to it, but luckily it really wasn't the exact same. Yes, it has the same storyline, but there are certain scenes that extends the storyline to really care more about the movie and what's really going on. I had a magical theater experience just watching this movie. It was just wonderful. Watching this telling of Cinderella, but in live action form. It was just portrayed in the best way possible, and in the most respectful way possible, and in the most magical way possible. Now, there's really only two negatives I have with Cinderella. One of them is the stepsisters they're very cartoony and that's really no surprise because even the animated film I didn't care for the stepsisters I never liked the stepsisters and the actresses while they try I thought overall they were okay but that's really nothing against the actresses because they have to portray for what their characters are. And the other thing is Helena Bonham Carter as the fairy godmother. She does do a very good job for that one scene. But where my negative comes in with her is that she didn't really feel like she fit the role. I like Helena Bonham Carter. I think she's a really good actress. I just felt like there could have been better casting when it comes to the fairy godmother. Overall though, Cinderella is wonderful. It really respects the material of the animated Cinderella so well. It's well directed. It's well edited. The music sounds great. Most of the acting is really wonderful, especially from Lily James as Cinderella and Kate Blanchett as the evil stepmother. And I'm going to give Cinderella... Three and a half out of four magical stars. So everyone, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Cinderella. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power! Bippity-boppity-boop!